A new law granting public access to the shoreline is being challenged in a lawsuit by some waterfront property owners in Rhode Island. They say it's unconstitutional to take away some of their property, but advocates for the new law say they have the right to Rhode Island shoreline. 12 News reporter Anita Buffoni joins us now with the arguments from both sides. Anita? Well, Shannon, the man who spurred the new law granting the public access to the shore within a certain distance of the water decided to put it to the test. After an encounter with police, he says he was vindicated. During 4th of July weekend, Scott Keeley was walking along Charlestown Town Beach, going beyond signs that said private property. Keeley was greeted by a security guard who says she was hired to be there. He captured the interaction on video. Can't set up past the private property sign. I can't set up past the private yeah. property sign? Really? Keeley wanted to set up his beach chair along the seaweed line. After being told he couldn't, despite the new law in effect, he called police. Two uniformed officers arrived. The security guard handed them a phone. She told officers a nearby property owner was on the other end. The police sided with Keeley, telling the owner he has the right to be there. So they, they can't stop them from passing through or even, even setting up. I mean, he's, he's 10 feet. He's not over that 10 foot from the high tide. The new law grants the public access to 10 feet of land from the recognizable high tide line in the sand. Now opponents made up of property owners filed a lawsuit looking to overturn the law. The legislature has taken a pen and simply redrawn their property line so that they have less than what they paid for. And uh, they haven't been, no one's been compensated. Attorney General Peter Nerona tells 12 News he's ready to defend the law in court. The public has long had a right to access the shore. Now, Keeley said he stayed and enjoyed that part of the beach after the police told the security guard he could be there. He hopes others will know the same. I'm Anita Buffoni, 12 News.